Hi ladies and gentlemen, Dave Dobbs here. It's the 27th of March 2020 and I'm exactly the same place I was when I made the last recording actually. Um, excuse me um, doing the videos like this, I've just got so much to do all the time at the moment that um, the only chance I really get a chance when I'm not actually to make a video, excuse me, is um, when I'm driving and so I just thought I'd let air my thoughts with you about these times because um, basically in my penultimate video I showed you the 50p coin didn't I with that, that was dedicated to Sir Isaac Newton and um, and I showed you the and I took you through a very detailed explanation of what is on that coin the real kind of like the real system that we're in the binary system that we're in not the story that we're being told that we're in, not the Copernicus system. Um, um, and Kepler, that was the name I was looking for all along in the last video, in the very last video. I kept saying, what was the name of the, because uh, we had obviously, we had Galileo, Kepler, and Copernicus all at the same time. And of course the Galileo kind of like um, side of things was silenced to put and put and put over on top of his place was the, Copernicus system, which we've all been using for the last kind of like 350, 400 years, 350 years or so. You know, it's been the, it's been the, um, it's been the 400 years, whatever. It's been the Copernicus system, hasn't it? And um, and we're just we're just realising that we're just we're just starting to see through that now. Those who who can see this and. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in in this. Although, the, you know, in in my in my beginning pro approach to this of doing this, it's been you know observing kind of like the, um, the you know, like I say, the 198 day period, and it's led to a massive collaboration of so many different people that have made, enabled me to move forward with this. And so, I just want to do some um, before I keep going any further. I just wanted to do some. Um, some hellos and thank yous out there to a few people as well through this as well and I thought I'd do that by um, by saying big hi obviously out there to Steve Olsen you know I haven't been in contact with Steve or anyone for a long, long for quite a while actually I've been meaning to sit down and get in communication with everyone but I just I've been so unsure about kind of like what's actually happening that I just don't want to put the fear of God through you more than than, than needs be but um, all these people that have helped me so much so big Hi out there to Steve. Hope you're doing really, really well, well, brother out there. You know, you just uh, you are a brother as well. You truly are. You know, you are. You're such a special being on the, on this earth, man. Thank you so much for all your assistance and pushing me forward in all the times you have. And what a wonderful, what a wonderful time. Sorry, I've had to be silent for a little bit. So I just I've had this real skin problem, and I just can't get it to go away. And it's just been a big part of it has been my own anxiety in all of this and going ups and downs and all over the place with it you know and I, it takes me every time to do this timeline it takes me on such a massive journey that I've needed to cut all contact a little bit for, from from this whole subject and give try and give my whole system a bit of a rest which is you know with everything that's going on has been a big thing so big blessings to you out there Steve and big big blessings to you know to um to Alex Luhan out there you know I, haven't, I, I still see he keep posting out there and big love to you out there Alex for all the work that you do and your dedication to this and all your other video makers and I saw sort of like um, the Relentless Maverick is going to take a little break for a little bit and um, <clears throat> and uh, big love to you brother as well man you know if you ever want sort of like assistance with um, getting past broken which is the name of his whole process that he does and I guess it's a kind of form of psychotherapy in itself you know get do get in contact with it with the relentless maverick you know it always looks like he gets so few so few views on his channel like so many like 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 um alex luhan as well who just posts the most epic um shots all the time endlessly so i'm not believing at all that the end that there's any indication of the truth in any of these numbers that we're seeing because the type of stuff that we've got going on considering the type of seismology and everything else can can people just be interested in i mean they must be watching these type of videos because because it's so massive what's going on it's so massive what's going on and as, as this whole timeline unravels you know and this this big part of this timeline unraveling that we're getting at the moment is a result of um relentless maverick sending me through um 
the information about um, the discovery of Eris and um, I still forget the, the, the man's name who um, who gave us Eris but you know for me he's another um, it's I mean it is what it is you know it's just it's, it's well you know what you know you know I'd really recommend if you haven't watched any of my other videos and you really want to get an understanding of what I'm talking about at the moment my, my last video with the 50p coin on the front which has got the real zodiac on the front of it I would really recommend you watching that there's a lot of information in that and it's really put together in it's gonna be a long time to put that together and it's the whole thing really it's you know like I say we're just tying up the loose ends here but um, I was cut short in my last video and I noticed this only lasts for about half an hour or so um, and then it don't, won't let me load any longer it seems to be on YouTube so I'm going to watch my time a little bit and I'm going to cut it off in half an hour and we're, we're kind of just a little bit past five minutes at the moment so we're not too panicked but um, I got cut off last time about this kind of galactic core connection um, you know, well let me just finish where I was going with the um, with with Relentless Maverick and all and just uh, doing my little credit list there of just some of the piece, some of the some of the some of you um, video makers out there you know Planet X Hunter and Earthly Patriot and Jeff P and and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss so many of you aren't I and just like um, in this but the the um, um, say Rogers Matt Rogers we haven't heard from him very, very much just lately but um, all of you out there you know I've been seeing Helen Walsh who's a, who's a lovely who's, 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 who's a really really beautiful subscriber who gets in contact she's been sending some hello messages I haven't checked my mail at all I haven't been able to go there at all emotionally I know there's probably some amazing shots in there and that sort of stuff like I say I've just had to take a break and I've just been overwhelmed with the stuff that I've got to do and um, so I've seen big love to you, Helen. Anyway, big love to all of you out there that, are, that I know that something big is going on there, and um, and are feeling this, you know, and are needing to take a bit of a break to sort your own lives out a little bit, and and um, and uh, and do what you've got to do in this time to be who you've got to be. You know, just just remember all of you out there in whatever journey you are, you're on. You're you're in on this, you know. I, I like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, we're all in the same. We're all on the same journey at the moment. We're all experiencing this, not quite knowing what's going on or what's going to happen. And so, just, uh, I'd really like to open up a um, with all of you is to um, open up now, um, as I was trying to open up before a uh, a galactic core connection and. Um, and a little bit more about that meditation because I got cut off just when I was going into that and we've all got to be thinking about how we connect to the energetic center of where and who we are now and so just just try to remember as I've gone through just try to remember that you're not just orbiting at even this binary twin like I say you're orbiting the galactic center and you're in this relationship like I say with the dwarf planet that <clears throat> that we're in a ba basically you know we can see that that Saturn and Jupiter and our Sun effectively are the only things the main things that orbit that are in a an orbital relationship but are not distinctly orbiting each other but a more their their real orbital relationship is the galactic center and so to see yourself along with Jupiter and Saturn and Saturn but you don't really need to bring those into the equation I guess it's more just your kind of relationship as you're going around the galactic center as you're going around the Milky Way and when you visualize that and you've got yourself and you can do that as a visualization I want you to try and open a door. You're going to try and do a bank right or bank left, but you're going to do a hard bank into. It depends which way we're going round the galactic core. Let's assume that we're all going. This, everything orbits in the same fashion as it does as we see us going round the, um, the, the, the 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 sun as Earth going round the sun, and the same direction it would appear that our sun is going round. 
dwarf planet or the black star and um, and then I want you to do a bank left or right I guess if we're going that's that same direction that mirrors in kind of like that is that is a the, the way in which we move, we move around the Sun we we'd have to bank a hard left to go into the into the center of the Milky Way and you're just going in there to the main hub of it you're not going to go right down through the center you want to get into the into the hub of the Milky Way that's where you're going picture that's where you're going to stop you're going to dive straight through to the potential black hole in the center of the Milky Way and go out there you're going to dive into the main hub of all of that which is orbiting and that's where you're going to stop that's where you're going to arrive and it's from that place that you're going to be received and before you begin the meditation I want you to think about your intention remember what I said about just qualifying that you've got no bad intentions for anyone out there or anything else like that you want to help everyone progress around you and, and uh, you're up for receiving help you know, are you up for receiving help? Are you open to assistance? Or would you prefer, are you the sort of character that would prefer to carry the cross on your own and not call out when you need help and when you need assistance? Would you like assistance right now? Would you like assistance for yourself, for the world? What would you like? Would you like to be of service to the great assistance that could come in? Are you offering yourself for service? Are you available to serve for the greater good for something? What, what is your intention? If you were to connect to that space and arrive with a kind of a line of inquiry, uh, an intention, is your intention to be in service to the greater good? Think about it. Think about a way of navigating that and think about a way in which you can take that point of navigation where you can demonstrate through your mindset that you understand where you are in relationship to the center of the galaxy. Try to do that connection from here so you are navigating, you are navigating your line of intention to them so that you know where you are knocking your, your so you know at the point that you are choosing to knock. This is where you're going to knock on the door this is going to be the place where you're going to arrive to, to knock on the door and um, and, and make, and make a um, make your your prayer your line of your line of inquiry your question what you're there to ask for and what you're there to offer for this in this you know what would you like to do in this would you like to be of service in, to, to this, to, to assisting this earth to raise its vibration? Really, like I say, really, when you do your, when you do your kind of left turn to go into the center of the, of the, of, of, of the galaxy and to go into that hub, into that central hub, that point of navigation, try to picture someone that you really love and honor and respect, someone you truly love, because you know that they truly love you they have met you in a place of true love visit that space it could be an it could be a person it could be it could be an animal it could be it could be a deed that someone has done that just takes you try to enter into that space of real well-being use that as the point it could be that point where you met someone that you fell in love with and that point maybe not where you made perhaps made love to them but that Maybe it was that point you made to love to them. Maybe, maybe that point that was pre that sexual thing, that point of just being with them, just feeling that absolute joy of being with them, that celebration, that wonderful feeling, that time in your life. Try to use that as your point where you're going to feel that feeling, feel that presence and know that that was a portal that was opened up for you so that if you ever wanted to traverse that you could that you have experienced
experience and you've known that in your life. Even if you didn't win the woman, the woman, the person that you fell mad in love with, but you knew that feeling, you felt that feeling, or the man, whoever it was that you fell in love with, that perhaps you just couldn't have, or they just they were just like you just loved them. Or however you see that connection. Maybe it's a deity or something like that. Maybe it's maybe it's a guru, maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's Jesus. Maybe it's Jesus, your absolute love for Jesus. But make sure it's what Remember that sacred space. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's one of your children that you absolutely adore and you love and you've got an absolute massive connection to. Another. <clears throat> Whatever it is, that's going to be your point where you're going to arrive and you're going to go there and you're going to make your intention. And then when you're there, I want you to try and just sit in meditation. Try and just hold that space. Don't be panicked if you feel that you're being distracted by lots of other things. I just want you to hold that space for as long as you can. Just hold that space in in a, in a state of meditation. And just be aware of where you're sitting on this earth. Be aware where you are, where you're going, where, you, where, you're, where you're, you're, you're connecting that energy to. You know, if you, if you get distracted, bring yourself back to the pathway that's got you there. If you say you've done the homework of trying to picture where you are in conjunction to the sun, where you are on the globe, where you're sitting, and where you're going to, where the, the direction the earth, the sun is moving direction is the sun moving it's kind of moving in a very similar direction at the moment to well it's such a complex thing so you're gonna to have to do some of your homework I'm not going to go into the orbital mechanics of that too much right now you know I'm just gonna hope that you know watch some of my last videos and start trying to get more of an understanding of how it's all moving how we're moving what's going on try to connect Try to see that connection as your ability to get a navigational idea of where you are truly to your galactic center. Make that the intensive, the intention of your point of focus in that in this meditation of where you're taking your question. Jesus that you would like to ask for you to help and assistance to make that great connection then ask it maybe it's Mary Magdalene maybe it's God that you'd like to receive your try to really navigate that okay so it looks like we're at about 18 minutes there and just want to talk to you about a little bit about now just in in this last little bit is in that last video that I did make not the not the literally the last video but the penultimate video where I talk about the coins and I talk about the 50p coin I said to you in that video that we would start seeing earthquakes in along you know all that all that point that would, that would feed into Europe and since that time we've had an earthquake, a small earthquake in Wales. I just saw Dutch Cinch yesterday, a small earthquake in Wales and one in the English Channel. That force of energy is, you know, certainly I didn't even see that we'd had, even in my last video, that we'd had a 7.8 just south of the Kamchatka Peninsula, which is still north of the Ecuadorian line, exactly as I said we would be expecting. You know, that's where it's going to come and then the energy is going to move across from that point really what's really happening as much as anything else is that and of course we've just had evidence we've just had an earthquake here is it Manhalina or is it is it Centelina or Man no Centelina is out of the ocean isn't it it's um that's uh that's is it Mount Helena which which is the big earthquake where the whole Condera collapsed on the sort of like on the west coast maybe inland from I think it's inland from um from near the Canadian border I'm sure it is but I'm not excuse my geography of, of America and that sort of stuff it's terrible but I think it's inland of um, oh 
God, it's going to be another one of those. Seattle. I thought it was going to be another one of those names that just suddenly vanishes from my head like the Kepler the other day. But um, <clears throat> it's inland from Seattle, I think. And they've just had a five point whatever earthquake. Guys, that erupted last when? 1980, when the whole caldera collapsed. Guys, that's in the range. That caldera is going to start filling with magma now. It's going to start filling with magma. So you need to be warned around that area because it's just we know how that works, and that's that's going to that whole that whole chamber that's that volcano is obviously going to obviously going to go off in the next kind of like um, it's going to go off over the next days, isn't it? It's quite likely now because we've seen all this seismic evidence exactly as I t exactly as the place I told I told you you'd see it. Guys, we have to be a little bit realistic here. You know, I just I watch the patterns, and these they, they move so concisely. If the Roman Catholic Church, if the Roman Catholic Church changed the calendar in 1582 to a 13-month from a 13-month calendar to a 12-month calendar, what would be the what would be the big reason for doing it? So they could line up all the cosmic dates that they wanted to line up, which means that they would have started. They wouldn't have had the calculators and all the type of systems to, to be able to do all the stuff that I say I've done with my limited ability to, to number crunch this. But I still have had all these computers and be able to date calculators and be able to run all these things. It would have taken you know just any one of these calculations that I do on a date calculator where I press a button and I just come up with all these dates. I can do in a single moment that same calculation if you were to do that because of, because of the way the calendars work it would just take months and months of work for one of those calculations which I put into a computer which enabled me to, to like, discover the model that I have it would have taken loads of people months of work to do these calculations which we just take for granted in a single press of a button you know, you have to start thinking about that. The only way they would have been able to do that, to be able to come up with all these dates to align this, was simply to, to run the calculator, run the dates, build a fresh, fresh calendar, a 12-month calendar, and write it backwards and set it up so they could align all of the calendar. So once they'd had a few dates and they lined it all up, they work it back. They know how it all fits together, and they set it with the leap years to, 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 to and they include the leap years just to make it exactly right. So it all tunes in exactly. Once you've set the pattern backwards and you've got your pattern going, bam, and then they come back to 15. 82 and they're one year and 10 days out and so they recreate and they call it the Gregorian calendar it's that simple that's the only way they would have done it unless they'd had high powered computers and we just can't assume they did and it's so obvious here what they did and if they did it backwards guys and we're getting the type of seismology that I'm kind of expecting we're going to see then when are we most likely going to see if they set the calendar when are we, we most likely down this line of logic then when most likely would we expect our son to die go out for three days and then rise again if you're a Christian order and you were kind of like writing the calendar and you'd known about this whole thing and when would you when would you when would you set your calendar celestial day to align with this if you built it from if you built the calendar for this you see why I'm so busy at the moment truly do not know the truth to be told is if we get the flyby now then we know that we're going to also have another flyby in January February March 2022 as well as obviously the kind of like uh, the, the the January flyby 2021 22 
the 23 that we're going to always that we're going to see until the, until Jupiter's gone until we've finally gone past Jupiter completely. We're basically crossing the central aspect of the ecliptic plane of the planet X system right now. You know, it's, it's is it really that much of a big deal? Does it really change that much? Of the way we see see the solar system, if we suddenly realise that it's a little bit simpler than we saw, and that we can just we can we can just reposition many of the orbits in slightly different positions, but we get a very near kind of thing to what it was before. It's just a bit of a more of a simpler position, and we become really just the moon of a of a sun, you know, and just like. Jupiter's got its 82 moons, you know, we are just a moon of our sun, it's just, I know it, I'm just realising it's a much bigger picture as a much bigger system, a much more, a more complex system, it's not the end of the world, this is, this is the most normal thing our binary system does, that we're in right now. And everyone tries to take it over with a story, a grand deception to bring you into a state of, to disconnect you from your galactic centre. Take you into a story. Take you off with a story. Take you away with a story. So that you will believe it. Not connected to your galactic core lost out there in the ether. Disconnected. It's just a time to be connected. It's a wonderful time to be connected. It really is. It's a wonderful time to be connected right now. So just try to do your process of connection know that if this time is coming in they're going to create a lot of fear around this there is going to be a lot of fear about this you know like I say my old man thinks that it's, it's going to be the big what equals the 666 the whole kind of financial crash coming in first of all and then and then the, whatever I see is coming in but just the way I've always seen the earthquakes coming up you know like I say 2018 or 2016 on the 22nd of November we saw it in you know, Christchurch in New Zealand, and then sort of like 2018, we see it in sort of like uh, in 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 obviously Kilauea and all the activity that went off on then, and then in 2000 and um, then then now potentially we're going to get it in kind of like one month before that. You know what I mean? But not to say that the December, obviously the November 22nd, 2000 and 16 doesn't correlate but we also have to understand that Jupiter is also moving obviously you know going around whatever it orbits planet X every 11.89 years so we understand that we would expect that position to move and we're also understanding that there's two points a point of coming coming in and going out and so that adds confusion to the whole mix but nonetheless we are seeing this starting very very low in the deep southern aspect of you know of, of affecting the globe then moving up midway to the fruit, to the right you know just below the equatorial equatorial in sort of like when Kilauea went on and then clearly above it now guys can we ignore that when we're seeing nuclear reactors going into meltdown are we that what are we if we could ignore that type of data I mean what are we really you know how what are we if we can ignore nuclear power stations going on at these critical points and we can tie these up exactly to this, like exactly to the day, to the exact orbital mechanics of the, or the orbital kind of like duration of Jupiter? What, what, what type of beings are we to sweep that under the carpet? What, what, what type of human beings are we if we could sweep that under the carpet? Knowing the type of damage that it does so that's it guys we just got to kind of watch this space and just prepare and just be at peace in our hearts and just do the best we can through this do the very best we can through this and um, I'm just coming up now to my um, my final destination so um, you know 
bit like um, a bit like the Relentless Maverick. I'm kind of like I'm sounding out a little bit while we go through this. You know, there's not a lot I can do. There's not a lot I can say apart from just send love out to all those wonderful people out there. All you, all you absolute warriors of light that have been part of my life and part of my developing story. And, and Relentless, you're definitely definitely one of us. And you're your lovely partner, Victoria. Also, you know, you're all part of a very great, very great collective that are just doing the very best you can presenting the data and, and helping us all move forward and just keep on doing and if you need any assistance out there for getting your head straight get in contact with relentless on that you know what i mean don't let all these efforts go go to waste and keep making videos man keep where you i love you so much man every time i see you like the sort of like a you like the wolf of the mountain like a coyote or something up in the mountains there or wherever you are do you know what i mean with sort of like living in your big bus living the dream up there man it's so cool man you're such a cool you're like a crazy biker up there or something i don't know. i bet you got a bike <laughs> you're like a crazy biker up there do you know what i mean i don't know it's all looking cool up there though man you know you're doing everything right man doing everything right we're all doing the best we can through this, you know, and Steve, big love to you, big love to all you video makers out there, all you truthers out there, pushing this over and above the story of spin that made that, that's got us imprisoned. Love you all so much. Blessings and, um, you know, honey in the heart. A thousand thank yous. You know, we just don't know, but we're just piecing this together and 